Now I want to show you guys the TradingView stock screener. This is a tool you can use to find the best stocks to trade. Uh, it doesn't matter if you use technical analysis or fundamental analysis. You can use this tool to filter stocks on all kinds of metrics. And to find this tool, you wanna go up here to the products tab right here. Then you wanna head down to screeners and you wanna go up here where it says stocks. And now, as you can see, a list of all the different stocks has appeared here. And right here, you can see that we have a few different metrics we can use to filter stocks. And the filter we are right now using is the market cap. The market cap is basically the total value of a company. And as you can see, the most valuable stock right now is Apple with a market cap of 3.3 trillion. Just below, we have Microsoft with a market cap of 3 trillion. And at third place, we actually have Nvidia with a market, uh, with a market cap of around 2.6 trillion. And up here in the upper left corner, you can see that we are currently looking at the US market. If you want to change the market, you simply press on this button right here. And since I'm from Sweden, let's say I wanna look at the Swedish market. So here we have some common markets, but we can press on this more markets button right here to find any market. So if we, for example, search for Sweden here, you can see that we can choose Sweden. Then we press on apply. And now, as you can see, only Swedish companies will appear. Currently, we're using once again the market cap filter, but right now you can see the market cap is currently filtered based on SEEK, and that is the Swedish currency. So the biggest company in Sweden right now is AstraZeneca, which has a market cap of around 2.7 trillion SEEK. But one SEEK is only around one tenth of a US dollar. So this company is only about one tenth of the size compared to Nvidia, which had a market cap of around 2.7 trillion dollar. But all right, so now let's actually head back to the US market. Because now I want to show you guys how to find the best stocks to trade by combining multiple filters. So as you can see, all of these different boxes up here are different filters we can apply to find our stocks. And these are actually not all the filters. If you go right here and press on the plus sign, add a new filter, you can see right here that we have even more filters, like for example, technical analysis tools that we can apply to all stocks. But now let's take a look at how this works. First of all, let's say that we wanna look at the US market. And what we then can choose is a specific index in the US market. So we can, for example, choose the S&P 500, NASDAQ or Dow Jones, but let's actually choose the S&P 500 here. So now only stocks on the S&P 500 will appear here. And now let's say here that we are only interested in stocks in a certain sector. To change the sector, we basically press on this button right here. And let's say here that we're looking out for stocks that are electronic technology. So we press right here. And the more filters we apply, the less stocks will appear here on the chart. So now we're looking at, you know, the electronic technology sector. But let's actually also filter, let's say we wanna filter on revenue growth. To do this, we basically press on this button right here. And as you can see, you can choose some pre-made filter, for example, 50 and above, this is an amazing growth. You can choose 25 and above, 10 and below, and so on and so on. And for all of these filters, if you want to create your own filter, you can go down to this button where it says manual setup. So let's press on this button right here. So as you can see, now we have revenue growth and the first setting here, it stands for TTM. TTM basically stands for trailing 12 months. So we're looking at the growth here in the last 12 months. And here we can choose, you know, if we want it to be above or below. Let's say that we're looking for a company with above and here we can choose the value. Let's say that we're looking for a company with growth of 15% and more. So we choose 15 here in the lowest box and then we press on apply. So now, as you can see, we don't have too many stocks left here. It's getting less and less, uh, but let's apply some even more filters. And for the next filter, let's actually add a new filter. Here you can see that we have, you know, 
filters based on market data, we have technical analysis tools, financials, dividends, and so on and so on. Uh, but here, let's actually add a technical filter. So let's pre press on technicals here. So now we're basically combining fundamental analysis and technical analysis. And what technical filter do we want to add? Let's just choose a common one. Let's choose the relative strength index. And now let's choose the settings. The most common settings for the ATR is to use a period of 14 and and let's make the calculations be based on one day. So let's add this filter right here. Now we wanna go up to the RSI and here we can choose to filter the stocks based on the RSI value. And for the RSI, when stocks are 30 or below, we say that the stocks are oversold. And when the RSI is 70 and above, we say that the stocks are overbought. Let's in this case look for stocks that are oversold. So we choose the 30 and below right here. And now, as you can see, when we combine all of these filters, we only have one stock left here, which in this case was SMCI or Super Micro Computer. But now the filter combination I just recently showed you guys was pretty random. I just combined some different filters to show you guys how this stock screener works. But hopefully by now you have a basic understanding of how to combine the different filters here. And now you might wonder, how do I reset all my filters? Maybe I don't want to use these filters anymore. Well, what you do is that you go up to the upper left corner, you press right here, and you press on revert to default screen. If you want to save this particular filter, you can press on save changes, but for now I'm gonna click on don't save. But all right, so now you know how to apply filters. But as you can see, we have some other sort of options right here. The first tab where we are right now is the basic overview tab where you can look at things like price, the price change of the last day. You can take a look at the volume, the relative volume and so on and so on. So this gives you a nice overview of the market. Uh, if you want to look at the performance, you click on performance right here. And as you can see on this tab, we have the price, but we also have the price change over the last day, the last week, month, three months, and so on and so on. So here you can get a really good sort of long-term and short-term view at the same time. Uh, if you, for example, look at NVIDIA right here, you can, for example, see that NVIDIA has lost around 11, 12% in the last week. But if you look at a longer-term perspective, you can see that NVIDIA has been going up by 121% in one year. And if you, for example, look at 10 years, you can see that NVIDIA has been going up with more than 21,000%. We also have some other tools. We have extended hours, which is how the stocks are basically trading outside the normal trading hours. And um, you also have valuation here. So here you can find many important metrics related to the valuation of the companies. One such met uh, metric we have been talking about earlier in the course is the PE ratio. We have the PE growth ratio here. Uh, and here, for example, we have the price to book that we have been talking about earlier. Uh, on this tab, you can basically find all kinds of financials, which are very important if you are a fundamental analysis trader. And here, guys, this stock screener is just too big to cover everything. But as you can see, we have data on dividends, profitability, income statements, balance sheets, cash flows, and even technicals. This video was just a very short clip from my full stock market trading course. To watch the full course, simply click or tap on the screen right here. I hope I will see you guys there very, very soon. But for now, take care. Ciao, ciao.